believe that the Hamilton Tie Cats are knocking on the door thanks to Jeff Piercy, who was trying to jump on that ball so he could give it to his dad. First and ten from the 11 for the Tie Cats. Good fake into the end zone. Touchdown, Tie Cats. Dickerson Williams did a masterful job of selling the run. Fantastic job by Richard Williams. Great fake. He's out there all by himself and then delivers a strike to Corey Dickerson. You see it right here. He gives a nice fake. He's all by himself. Canada stays in, tries to stop Julian Radlin, but Corey Dickerson is wide open. Richie Williams delivers a strike when it counts. Again, beautiful fake. I love to see a quarterback with good hand movement. Unorthodox delivery gets it done this time. His first passing touchdown of the season for Richie Williams in his first ever start for the Ticats. The convert is good. And Hamilton have gone on top of the Bombers 15-11, and this is the play that set up the TD. Oh, yeah. Piercy should get an assist on this play. You see Piercy right here. He just comes through the middle, the up back, decides to take someone outside, and decides on the wrong guy. Should have blocked Piercy. Piercy comes in with the block. Tries to pick it up for his, for his grandfather, I believe. But still, he gets the assist on this play. A big turnover, and the Ticats cash in. That's what it's all about. Yeah, Hamilton, uh, this whole game, they've been going after punts. They look like they've been getting close in that first half. This time, they see something. One little mistake by Winnipeg Blue Bombers cost them seven points. Hamilton taking advantage of the win. CFL on CBC and CBC Sports proud to present this telecast in high definition. Set up with another booming kick going into the end zone. He just watches it go over his head and he's going to concede a point. So the Hamilton lead will go to 16 11 next to a boomer from Nick Setta. This is exactly what Hamilton wanted to do. They know they don't have the win in the fourth quarter, so they need to build as much of a lead as they possibly can. Don't forget two games for you. CFL on CBC Thanksgiving Day. It's a doubleheader next Monday. We begin at 1 p.m. Eastern in Montreal with the Alouettes and Ticats, followed by the Riders in Calgary to meet the Stampeders. Two games on Turkey Day next Monday. The CFL on CBC. So Kevin Glenn and this bomber offense, the highly touted bomber offense, they've got to go to work. They trail 16-11. They're first and 10 from their own 35. They give to Roberts, and Roberts finally has some running room in a first down. That is exactly what the Bombers were looking for. Instead of just going with what they've normally done, they bring in a receiver this time to help out with the blocking. And he goes down, makes a great block, and then Charles Roberts does the rest. You get this guy in space, and he knows what to do with the football. He knows how to make that first guy miss. Well, for Charles Roberts, it's an improvement on last week against the Argos. Not much <laughs> in terms of Roberts' typical game effort, especially at home. Take this time to Roberts. And they get to Edwards. Edwards has some room. Comes up short of the first down, but draws some flags as he's taken out of play by Cody. Yeah, just... Uh not a smart play on the sidelines. You know Edwards is going over to the sidelines. Let him go out. You don't need to deliver the big hit right there. He already got up along the edge. Make it second and three, second and four, instead of a big first down like it is now. This game is all about momentum. You see McKay, not McKay Losher. He reads the play well, but Tay Cody just wanted to deliver the hit. And I think once, sometimes in your defender's mind, Hamilton, 15 yards from the end of the play. First down. Good call. Unnecessary roughness. 